Yeah, we're live here at Bill's headquarters, and we're, of course, talking about the Stefan Diggs situation that kind of flared up again earlier this week when Stephen A. Smith of ESPN, you may remember, uh, went on the air and said that sources had told him that Diggs wants out of Buffalo and that he has lost belief in the direction of the franchise. Diggs, for his part, took to Twitter almost immediately and disputed it, calling the report 100% not true and so all eyes are on Diggs as the preseason continues and he works through uh, with this team speaking the first day of training camp you might remember and trying to set the record straight he had missed the first day of mandatory mini camp here in June after a discussion during a meeting became heated Diggs has been animated this preseason extremely intense highly competitive and offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey said today that he's more than noticed his level of engagement. He's come in and, and just been been great. I mean, he's provided a lot of um, energy for us every single day. Like there hasn't been a day that practice has rolled around where it's like, you know, he don't want to be like he has been. He's attacked every single day uh, with a great attitude and and great energy and and I think great leadership. Well, these are things that you would expect a coach to say about a player, especially in the preseason, especially in a situation like this. But I will say that none of Diggs' body language during camp has suggested otherwise. And Mary Alice, as I said uh, to you guys on Monday, I do think we'll get a much truer sense of where things stand with Diggs uh, in this situation, his role in the offense, uh, all of that, uh, if and inevitably when the offense hits the skids a little bit at some point during the regular season. For now, Diggs certainly seems to be backing up his words with actions during these workouts and in this preseason. In Orchard Park, Adam Benini, Channel 2 Sports. Let's send it back to you.